Want to know what's hot? Simon Cowell, season 11 Golden Buzzer recipient and cancer survivor, Calissa Bevier. Then and now, that's what's hot. Kelly took America's Got Talent by storm when she sang Fight Song in her season 11 on she up to in 2022? Is she still a singer? What does she look like now? Is she divorced? All of this and more on this segment of What's Hot. Hey guys, it's Corey and today we're going to take a look at America's Got Talent's season 11 cancer survivor, Golden Buzzer. Kelly Bevier, she was amazing on the show, but did you know that she went viral online before ever stepping foot on the AGT stage? Kelly is definitely a memorable singer on AGT. You know, as soon as she stepped onto the stage, Howie Mandel instantly compared her look to Audrey Hepburn. That's a huge compliment. But Kelly was quick to admit her hair wasn't really her choice. I'm a survivor of stage three ovarian cancer. No way. Yeah. I kind of came here today to show people that no matter what you've gone through, to keep chasing your dreams. Now, before ever stepping foot on the AGT stage, Kelly met with Ellen DeGeneres after going viral on Ellen Tube for a performance of Fight Song at a fundraising event. On the show, she explained the significance of Fight Song to her story. On the way to chemo, I had my music on shuffle and the Fight Song came on. And I actually like listened to the lyrics and the lyrics were really correlated with my situation. And she even got to sing with the original artist. At only 15 years old, Callie was diagnosed with dysgerminoma, which is a form of ovarian cancer. When her family was on a trip, her mom saw a lump in her stomach and soon after, she had to have surgery. And they removed a five pound tumor. Yeah, and um, after that, they biopsied it and it ended up being cancerous. She underwent 21 chemo infusions and multiple hospital stays, but luckily, she's now in remission. After her beautiful performance, Simon Cowell gave her the iconic two thumbs up. And when he gave her his nose, he told her that he thought she had something special. I predict great things are gonna happen for you. There's something about you. Thank you. And then from there, he got up and hit the golden buzzer for her as she deserved. This inspirational singer returned to the show in the quarterfinals where she sang Brave by Sarah Bareilles, and all four of the judges once again gave her a standing ovation. From there, she made it into the semifinals but was eliminated soon after her performance of Human by Christina Perry. So what is she up to now? After becoming an internet star, Callista moved to Los Angeles and signed with a management company. She has performed at many live events with many major stars such as John Legend, T-Pain, and others. Since her time on AGT, she's released nine singles and plenty of YouTube videos. She periodically shares some of her original music on TikTok as well, and I really think she could become viral from her voice alone. Something I wanted to feel. Recently, the singer has shared on Twitter that she's not giving up on her dream anytime soon, and she's manifesting both growth and success every day. Let your feet grow into the ground like roots. Feel them becoming one with the earth. That's literally something that I think is very important to do. In 2022, she's still considered a rising pop star. At only 22 years old, she has 64.9 thousand subscribers on YouTube and 83.9 thousand subscribers on Instagram. Now, she doesn't have a great amount of followers on TikTok yet, but Listen, she does share videos of her dog and singing, of course, as I mentioned, so she's gonna go viral soon. Kelly, if you're watching this, please share more on TikTok. Um, I'm obsessed with your dog. Thanks. While on her Instagram, you'll notice that she has a new look. Since being a teen on AGT, Kelly has really found her sense of style. She's grown out her hair, dyed it different colors, and has been really rocking the winged liner look. She has a very simple yet flattering look in her 20s, and even though her sense of style differs from her Audrey Hepburn era, it's great to see a young contestant adapt and really become the person she wants to become. Are you alive? You've never seen a woman taken by the wind. You'll also find that she has a lot of pictures with Sean Corchado. They have some pretty cute photos together, I'm not gonna lie, but I don't know about you. 
The first thing my eye caught is the fact that their hair matches in color. Now, although there is no longer an official announcement post, this duo got married in October of 2020. Originally, Callie shared pictures of the wedding on her Instagram with the caption, I married the love of my life last night in the company of my closest friends and family. Now, no need to worry here. Callie recently shared a photo of the two of them together. So I'd say there's nothing to be concerned about. I don't think they're divorced. And you know, both of their accounts have small numbers of posts. So I'd say that they're doing the whole new year, new Instagram type of thing. So maybe they just wanna keep their relationship off social media for the time being. Callie is openly a part of the LGBTQ plus community and has shared that her husband is transgender. She identifies as pansexual and is an ambassador for Aware Now for LGBTQ awareness. When I first started dating Sam, I told everyone like I had a girlfriend or whatever. And then he started transitioning. It's nice to see that people, you know, really care and are trying and are accepting. Within the website, she is quoted saying, I support LGBTQ not only because of my own journey in the community, but because of the people I have met along the way. It takes a special kind of sparkle to be able to get out there and be yourself 100% unapologetically. I'm here to show the people who are living in fear and nervous about acceptance that there are people out there just like you. It sometimes just takes a little push to find them. Her support of the LGBTQ plus community was first shared because of the 2019 music video for her song, Hate You Sometimes. If you haven't heard it, the song has notes of vulnerability and a strong sense of self-discovery. Other artists wrote this song, but Callie identified with it and chose to sing it. To make it more of her own, she took the word boy out of it to keep the two in genderless and true to her. This song is intimate, so the singer chose her real life boyfriend, now husband, as her love interest in the music video. So far, Callie hasn't shared any new music in the new year, but I'm sure she will sometime soon. It's only the second week of January. But for now, she has been tweeting about her new habits in the new year, and she's been sharing dramatic but gorgeous selfies on Instagram. Although I'm not sure if she really has new music on the rise, I'd say her Twitter bio gives us indication on the fact that she might be taking a short break. Her bio says, my music is working on itself before it comes out to the world, hashtag glow up. Also check out my Spotify. Feeling slightly off, but I've been dreaming of how it could have all been. What do you guys think of Callie Bevier? Do you think she has one of the most memorable golden buzzers on America's Got Talent? Are you excited for possible new music from her? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, while you're still on YouTube, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Follow Talent Recap on all social media platforms, including TikTok, and check out our website, talentrecap.com. If you guys wanna follow me, I'm at Corey Caesar on Instagram, and now you know what's hot. Okay, but Billy, am I allowed to ask her if I can see videos of her dog? Can she send me those? No. I can't? Okay. Okay, Kelly, if you're watching this still, um, at Corey Caesar on Instagram, please send me videos of your dog. I'm obsessed. <laughs> hey, what are you doing tonight? Well, I think you should hit the subscribe button down below and then we can talk.